All right, there, welcome back to the shop. Enough of the silly stuff about Baytown. Hey, today, we've already got the side sanded in the previous video, 24. Today, we're gonna mask, and we're gonna use this uh, pre-taped plastic here to cover up the areas that we don't want any gel overspray to get onto. So let's get started. All right, so what I like to do, this stuff's pre-taped, sticky on one side. And uh, we're gonna start here. Come back about a foot. And we're gonna carry our line along the bottom of this ridge here. You wanna take your time and do this very well so your line will be nice and straight. Make sure the area that you're taping to is good and clean because if it has any dust or any powder or anything on it, this tape won't stick very well. And you don't want it to lift when you spray your gel because it ended up fading on the black. And then you'll have to sand that off and fix that. Just more things you'll have to correct. You just take your time as you go. All right, so we got one side tape masked off, covered up in plastic. I'm gonna do the other side just like I did this one. The reason there's blue tape here is it's that yellow. Sometimes won't follow that line very well and you'll get a gap so you can backfill with your blue tape to make sure you don't have any funny lines. Just plastic. The bottom, that will pull down some more. So we pretty much got it ready. Um, to gel this side here. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the other side too while I'm at it, just showing you what it looks like and cover everything up. That's gonna get any kind of overspray if possible on it. Nothing up here will. 
So we're gonna do this side here the same way. And then uh, we'll start mixing up some gel and we will spray this gray here for you. And so uh, hopefully you'll see a good video. All right, guys, let's go do the other side. All right, so we're gonna mix up probably 20 ounces of our gel coat here for the side, right there. A little less than a quart. Okay, so that's pretty hot. We're gonna mix it probably 1%. So we don't have any problem with it setting up in the cup for we get done spraying we're going to use wax in this because this is going to be my final coat on this side and uh that way with the wax in here we won't have to spray any pva to uh, make it cure so all right so now we've got uh our gel coat in so now we're going to add uh one ounce of wax solution to a quart so it's usually four ounces to a gallon this is one quart so we're going to put one ounce of wax that right there okay so that's our wax and that's gonna be our agent that helps cure the finish. It won't be tacky. Without this, it'll be sticky. It'll never cure completely. And uh, you will have problem sanding. So you'll have to let it cure and then shoot another layer of uh, gel coat on top with wax or you can use PVA if you need to, to help cure it. But I just go ahead and add wax in. If I have any spots to fix, I'll just sand it easy enough. So, all right, so that looks good. We're gonna be spraying with our 3M AccuSpray. I have the, uh, the red tip, which is a 1.8, almost a two. All right, so today it's about 95 degrees out here. So we're gonna mount, uh, we're gonna go 1%. So we're gonna go to 10 milliliters of hardener. It's about 12, so that'll be good. Now, once we mix this in, it's go time. We gotta get it. All righty. Let's mix this up real good. Make sure you get all this mixed very well. Because if you don't, it won't dry or harden properly. And you'll uh you'll be upset if you didn't get a good good setup. So make sure you mix this stuff real good. That way it don't have any sticky spots anywhere. That ought to be good. Put our cap on. Put our retaining ring on.
Put our gun on. We're gonna be running about 35 pounds air pressure. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we're mixing up for spray number two. Your gel coat in. We're gonna add in, um, let's see, one ounce right here of our wax solution because we're not gonna use PVA, so we're gonna, this is wax additive. You gotta add this in. It's very important that you do. One ounce. Okay, so we'll add him in. And it's very, very, very important that you mix this in very well using your acetone to clean up with. All right, so that looks good. All right, so we're gonna mix uh, 10 milliliters right here of hardener because it's gonna be hot outside. We're gonna go about one and a half percent. So, ooh, there's 20. Uh, no going back now. Let's go a little faster. All right. That is our catalyst. You sure can get this mixed in real well. All right, so that's that. We use these cup guns. One thing you want to do is make sure this rim is clean. If not, you'll get a leak. And also, there's a uh, there's a bladder in here like this. So it's a fine mesh. Take that out. The joker won't go through. You just tear it out. 
All right, lock your cup in, your cap. Make sure it seats down. Make sure your ring doesn't get cross-threaded. Make sure it pulls down good and even everywhere. Look for gaps. Because it'll start dripping on you. All right, guys. Put our gun on. And you can do a couple little shakes like that. Make sure everything is getting mixed. All right, let's get our hose and let's do it. All right, so now we got all the side sprayed. It's starting to cure. You're seeing a little shiny spot, hazy spots. That's good. You want to see the hazy. That means the wax is coming to the top of the gel coat. That's what we want to see. All right, guys, so three good covers. That 3M gun sprays excellent. Uh, I can't get over how smooth that thing sprays. It does a wonderful job. Sure makes the... Uh, prep work easier when you go to sand wet sand and buff all right so we're done we're gonna let this cure a uh, couple more hours it's already tacking up i can feel i can feel the heat coming off of it so it is reacting and uh and then we're gonna uh, wet sand with a uh, 800 1000 1500 and then we'll buff it out to a beautiful finish and that'll be this boat will be done cosmetic wise so thanks guys like and subscribe